All right, in this video, this is gonna be a continuation of configuring OBS to live stream at church services. All right, so this is one of those extra features that is recommended, especially if you're kind of a novice in setting up live streaming for the very first time. If you look at our previous, my previous video on setting up OBS for running a live service, church service, um, we skipped over the configuration part of testing out your connection. And that's what we're gonna go through on this one. So there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. First off, before you start this, you need to know and decide on what platform you're gonna use, whether that be Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, Vimeo, Ustream, Twitch, whatever platform you decide, just decide because you're gonna get a stream key which is gonna authenticate you on how you can connect and upload your stream. That's one of those keys, it's almost like a password. You don't wanna give that out and most of these services, they rotate that key anyway. But just be careful with that. So I already have this set up on my stuff so I'm gonna actually just walk you through how to actually get this stuff configured. All right, all right. so we're back here over my desktop exactly where we left off. And what we're gonna do first is go over here to settings. And we're gonna go to stream. And now you need to pick what your streaming service is gonna be. Um, and again, this is just for, this is for your initial setup and for testing. So for my settings, I am going to use Vimeo and I already have my stream code here. And aha, you can't see it, you're not supposed to see it. And we click okay. Well, I'm not gonna click okay yet. Let's go back to our um, output. On here, I'm gonna link up a video on the actual specs on computers that I build personally that I run here, as well as from other churches on specs that can run and handle live streaming. Um, and I actually have another video I'll link up here as well too um, on the perfect live streaming system for $1,000 for a church. Everything that you need to get started with live streaming, I'll link that up here. But you need to have certain computers be able to handle this. And this is what this test is gonna show us if the computer that we're currently using can handle live streaming. So I know my system, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick hardware, but the stuff we're getting ready to run is gonna show what you can do. All right, so we click OK, and we're gonna go up here to Tools, Auto Configuration Wizard. Now, are you, we, this wizard is gonna ask, are we optimizing for streaming or optimizing just for recording? We're doing this for streaming, so let's go ahead next. You can pick your um, resolution, which we did in our previous video, but just in case, we're gonna say use current 1080p or you can pick lower than that and your frames per second. I'm gonna go for the max, max on everything just to see if we're capable of, all right? We do next. Now the stuff that we set up before, that's where it carried everything over. So this is just gonna be for a test. So make sure um, once you finish this test, whatever your platform is, make sure you delete this video. Um, it's just gonna be junk, it's just gonna be snow. It's just really just a test. So we got everything set up. Now we're just gonna go ahead and click next. And it even says it as well, this is a test, video without audio for your channel. If you're able, it's recommended to temporarily turn off saving videos and streams, blah, blah, blah. Like I said, just make sure you delete it when it's done. So let's go ahead and click yes. And now it's streaming this right now. And for example, if I cut over to my other screen here in a second, it just picked up the junk that it was streaming. So now if we come back in here, these are the results of the test. It's saying that my bit rate can, is good to be set at 5,800. Hardware and recording encoding isn't hardware. It's fine. It recommends a high quality um, recording quality. It recommends for me to output at 720p, which that's fine. I know my connection can handle higher than that, but it said it can handle at 60 frames a second. So, I mean, that's fine, but let's say, let's go back and let's say I want to do 1080p at 
1080p at 30 frames a second. Let's test it one more time. And just see what happens. Because when you go to 60 frames a second, that's double the images. Um, again, that's overkill for church, to be quite honest. And like, coming back with the results, it's saying that 1080p is fine at 30 frames a second. So again, this gives you um, a test based off of what you're doing with your equipment, your internet connection, everything. What is the optimal settings for it? Um, honestly, as a first time, it's good to go with this. And as time goes on, you can tweak these settings once you start live streaming. So to implement them, you just go ahead and click apply settings. And that's it. So now you are set up to best live stream based on your current hardware and your internet connection. So that was pretty much it. Very simple how to set this up, but it's good to set this up first so that you know the limits of what you can. You don't want to be sending live streaming a, a slideshow because your computer can't keep up, um, nor do you want to put out less than what your computer is capable of. I will place in the description links to equipment and everything like that that I would recommend that I personally use myself at churches that I consult and my own personal church on um, what we use to live stream effectively. So again, this is AJ. I hope you like this video. If you do, I appreciate a like. Hey, and even if you don't like it, a dislike is cool too. But I also ask you to consider subscribing to my channel and make sure you hit that bell notification. That way you get notified when we come out with new videos. This is AJ the CEO, and we'll catch you next time. Later.